Hello, welcome back to the channel. And this is a channel where we give you reviews, playthroughs, unboxings. We generally like to talk a lot of bollocks, tabletop gaming in general. And in this video, we're going to be talking about a game that a lot of people really, really don't like, but, but we're going to look at it anyway. It is Zombie Dice from Steve Jackson's game. In this game, you'll be rolling a set of custom dice. You'll be hoping that you don't get shotguns and that you roll a shitload of brains that will allow you to win the game. So in this video, we're going to be giving you a very brief overview of the rules. We'll be telling you what we do like we don't like and we'll come back and we'll tell you whether or not zombie dice is still worth playing nine years after it was first released in 2013 so remember if you knew it and then please consider subscribing to this channel hit the like button and all that youtube bullshit see you after this bollocks so zombie dice how do you play this game so Zombie Dice is a dice chucking push your luck game. On your turn, you'll give the cup a big old shake and you'll reach in and you'll draw three random dice from the cup and you'll chuck them on the table. You will then evaluate all of the results. You'll notice that there are three different colored dice. There's green dice, which contain the most brains. There's a yellow dice, which contain slightly less brains. And then there's a red dice that contain only one brain. So if you roll a brain, you will put it to one side. And we like to use these nice little brain tokens to keep track of how many brains we've eaten. If you roll a shotgun, then you will put it to one side. If you ever roll three shotguns and your turn is over and you bust. And if you roll any feet, then you will keep them on the table and you will add them to your roll next turn. As such, you will draw less dice from the cup on your next turn. So if you don't bust, you get the option to stop or carry on if you choose to carry on then you will reach into the cup and you'll draw three more dice unless of course you have rolled feet and you'll keep doing this until you have either bust or you have gone over 13 points in which case everyone to the left of the first player will have one more turn and then the player with the most brains will be the winner of zombie dice but wait there is more there are expansions for this you've got the season two double feature this is a very very small expansion that contains three extra custom dice you've got the hunk die you've got the pink hottie die and then you've got the santa die if you're going to use the hunk and the hottie then you'll have to remove one green die from the regular dice and you'll chuck these in you'll see that the hunk die has a couple of extra symbols on it one side will have two brains and one side will have two shotguns the pink hottie die has one brain it's got a majority of footsteps on it and if the hunk roll shotguns and the hottie is in the brain pile then you'll be able to put the hottie back into the cup right there's also the santa die you will have to take out a yellow die from the cup and put this one in you've got a symbol with a cut of brains on it you've got the white helmet it would have been better had it been a big purple helmet but the helmet allows you to absorb four shotguns instead of three there's also the energy drink on it because everybody knows that santa loves a little bit of red bull vodka and what this allows you to do it allows you to turn all footsteps on that roll into brains right but wait there's more there's more to this there is a third expansion called the school bus this is a very overpriced expansion that contains basically just a massive d12 with custom stuff on it and a few tokens right you've got the customary extra brains one of the sides has got three brains so if you roll that it's going to be the equivalent of wanking in a sock but you've got the stop sign in which case your turn will be over you've got the yield sign in which case all shotguns become brains on that roll you've got the dead end sign and that means that all feet become brains on that roll. And you've got the run over, in which case you'll have to lose one of the brains out of the brain pile, right? So basically, in order to use this, you will have to take your first turn rolling all three dice, and then you get to elect whether or not you want to get on the school bus by saying something like, I'm going to get on the school bus with a chainsaw. But you could choose not to roll school bus die if you want to. And basically, the same rules apply. If you get the 13 brains, you could choose to carry on, or you could stop, and then everyone else gets one more turn. And then the player with the most brains will be the winner of zombie dice. So what do we like? about zombie dice. So the first thing that we really like about it, and probably the reason why this gets pulled out so much, is because it is a piece of piss to play, right? This is one of my kids' favourite games of all time. They'll probably regret saying that as they get older, but the reason they like it so much is because it's just a case of rolling dice. The symbols are very, very easy to understand. They've got no trouble understanding the symbols on the expansions, and it keeps me and them entertained quite a bit. So yeah, it's a piece of piss to pick up and play. So the second thing that we like about Zombie Dice is that, contrary to popular belief, 
relief. I actually find this game quite addictive. It's not addictive as cocaine, but you don't actually have to give up playing zombie dice because you have a psychotic episode. On the side of the cup, it's got a one more roll game, and this isn't far wrong because you can't wait for your turn to come around. And when you're rolling dice, you never really know what you're going to get. And when you get a decent roll, when those red dice give you brains, and when you pull three green dice out of the cup, then a little bit of wee naturally comes out. Yeah, so it is quite addictive. I don't give a fuck what anyone else says. The people that hate zombie dice are the same people that slag off Catan, even though that was the game that allowed them to dip their toe into the bathtub of modern gaming. So the third thing that we really like about it, and I've already mentioned this, and this is a result of me not having any script at all, just talking off the top of my head, is that my kids really like this game. It's very good if you want to have a little quick game with your kids, right? Like I said, they've got no trouble in picking this up. Even expansions are a piece of piss for them. And yeah, they always request this. They always pull this out. Okay, it's chewing gum for the brain. It's the equivalent of them watching Baby Shark on YouTube for 24 hours straight. But we still have a laugh at it. And yeah, my kids love it. And it's just a great family game, right? So what don't we like about zombie dice? So the first thing that we don't like about it is that it's just bloody stupid and dumb in it at the end of the day. There's no depth to this. It's just rolling the dice, looking at what you get and resolving it. And that's all there is to it. Okay, the expansions do add a little layer of depth, but there's not really any sort of way to mitigate the prospects of bad rolls aside from just saying, I'm going to stop. There's no way to affect what comes out of the cup. There's no way to affect what happens with the die rolls. I mean, maybe it might have been a case that you could give up a brain to turn one of the dice you rolled into another symbol. But yeah, there's no way to influence what happens after you let go of them dice yeah so the second thing that we don't like about it is it's glaringly unfair we played this the other day my middle child who is eight he sat there and he kept on pulling out red dice from the cup and he kept on going bust on the first turn and my youngest daughter who is six she got to 13 dice without rolling any shotguns i shit you not it's the first time i've ever seen that happen it's never happened to me so i'm a little bit jealous about that but the look on my boy's face when he kept pulling out a load of dogs Shit. It wasn't very pleasant, but I suppose the game doesn't really last that long. And we played it again moments later, and uh, he done quite well. There's picks and piss troughs in this game. Sometimes you're going to win, sometimes you're going to lose, and you're just going to have to accept that, right? So the final thing that we don't like about Zombie Dice is that it is expensive for just a set of dice. I'm not sure how much this goes for now, but I think it's gone up in price to maybe nearly 20 quid. All you're going to get is 13 custom dice in there. If you add on the expansions, I mean, I think you can pick up the double feature for about eight or nine quid. And all you're going to be getting is some not very good quality custom dice, only three dice in there. They don't weigh the same as the original dice. They're lighter. The school bus is even more of a bump, even though it does add a little bit more depth. And I would say it's probably an essential purchase if you've gone through all the other zombie dice expansions that is if you like this game if you don't like it then why the fuck are you watching this video but yeah it is quite expensive just for a few dice and if you add up the cost of all the expansions you're looking at maybe like 25 30 quid for a basic throwaway chewing gum for the brain dice game right it's a bit of a ripoff so to summarize is zombie dice still worth your time and bother today and in the future so we're going to say, yes, absolutely, Zombie Dice is a pathetic dice chucking game that actually proves to be quite fun and has quite a lot of longevity. That is a contradiction in terms, is it not? This probably, embarrassingly enough, is the game that we have played the most out of all of these boxes in this room, right? That is unbelievable. It's raw, right? It's unfair. But under the right circumstances, it is addictive and an utterly compelling experience if things go your way. And at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks. I love it. And maybe you should give it a look or another look if you're flushed it down the toilet about five years ago so there you go that is zombie dice and all the expansions who said you don't get any bonus content on this channel nobody actually but remember if you're new here please consider subscribing to this channel hit the like button leave a comment on that youtube bullshit see you next time